Hey guys, well, Bigfoot here. We're gonna be talking about this tree today, um, which might be familiar to several of you, and that's the pine tree. This is a uh, ponderosa pine. And while you can't eat ponderosa pine because it's very poisonous, uh, you can make something else super convenient with it, and that is uh, pine needle baskets. So we're gonna gather some pine needles here, and then I'm gonna show you guys how to make a pine needle basket. We'll take these dried pine needles and we'll go inside and I'll show you what we do with them next. All right, catch you in a minute. All right guys, so now what we're gonna wanna do that we've, now that we've got our pine needles, we'll bring them inside, I'll put them inside this, uh, this is just a cake pan, but you can use anything, Tupperware, whatever. And uh, we're gonna boil some water and we're gonna dump that boiling water right on top of these pine needles. And uh, what that's gonna do is, it's gonna make these pine needles uh, to where they're able to be uh, bent and shaped uh, without breaking. So it's gonna give them a little bit of uh, elasticity so we can make our baskets. All right, so let me grab my water. Okay, so now we're gonna let these pine needles sit here and soak. Um, and I'll go ahead and I'll put a, a dish right here just to kind of keep them down because they want to float a little bit. And let me see, there we go. So we'll leave, we'll leave these here for about 30 minutes or so, and then we'll come back and I'll show you the next step. Our pine needles have been soaking for about a half an hour. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna remove the end caps off of these uh, pine needles, um, and they'll be ready to use. Our fingers can kind of pinch and pull like that. Then uh, our needles are still attached. So we'll always be grabbing a bundle of these instead of one individual needle. So. I'm going to go ahead and take all these caps off of these and we'll come back uh, after we're done with that. See you in a minute. Okay guys, we're back. We got all our pine needles uh, decapped. And so now what you're going to need is you're going to need some kind of wax thread. Um, I'm using a spool of uh, synthetic um, sinew that uh, I have here just because I have it. Um, you can use whatever you want as long as it's pretty tough thread. So you're going to want about six feet or so. I just do like arm span and you'll need something like this. You can, you can use a straw you got from Carl's Jr. or McDonald's or whatever. But uh, I have this, which is a piece of mullein stock that I've um, hollowed out the pith. And um, I'm going to use that for my guide. So that's where we'll start with our guide. So you want to grab a few clusters of pine needles, okay, and you're going to want to insert them into your straw or your guide, whatever it is, and you want to put enough in there to fill it up, but not so much where you can't move this thing around because you're going to have to move your guide. Okay, so we're going to leave about five inches or so hanging out there, and then we got our pointy ends on this on the short side. All right, so we'll take our We'll take our thread or sinew or whatever you have there. And I like to take this and lay it up like against that. Okay, and then we're just gonna start wrapping um, towards the caps, towards the end where we took our fingers and took these off. And every once in a while, you might want to grab this and make sure it's slid tight together there. Okay, once we get to about this point here, we can go ahead and thread our needle. I like to use this curved needle here um, because it makes it a little bit easier for me to pull the needle through the pine needles and the thread. So... We'll go ahead and get that going. Okay, now that we got to this point, I'm just gonna go ahead and insert my needle um, right into here. And stitch this off. Yep. 
that we'll go ahead and I'll make a couple of them just to make sure it's secure. Okay, now that we've got that stitched on there, we, you can uh, take some scissors or, or your knife here and uh, just cut these, cut this excess pine needles away. And we're good to start. Now what we're gonna do is we're going to bend this over like so. We'll bend that over like that, okay? And we are going to stitch, let me get my needle here. We're going to run a stitch through here. And this is why I like this curved needle because it gives me something for my thumb to push against. So we're gonna go ahead and stitch that, that needle through there like that. Pull it through. And I'm gonna do that a couple of times to make sure that the beginning of our bottom loop on our basket is nice and secure. So we're just gonna we're gonna go one more time like this. Okay, like that there. And we're going to stitch that on there now. Okay, I just like to do that because that pulls our whole bottom part nice and tight. And I'll do it one more time just to get on this other side. There we go. Pull it tight. Okay, now we're good. We got our start. And now I can add some more pine needles into here. And <clears throat> so we'll add some. And they'll just probably start off adding a little bit. You don't want to add too much if your straw is getting tight or whatnot, then that means you're too full. Okay, now that we are got our uh, bottom of our basket started, We'll just start bringing this around here like this and start stitching. So bring this around. Okay, so once we get to this part here, we're gonna start building the walls of our basket. So all we gotta do is take this here and move it up. So we're just gonna stack it right on top. Instead of going out, we're going up. And then we'll go ahead and come through just like we were. continue making our stitches. You'll just keep on doing that and you just keep going around your your uh, your basket building those walls up and we'll come back after we've gotten built up a little bit.
So as you can see, we're starting to get a wall. I don't know if you can see that, but we're getting a wall built up. So now, you just have to decide how short or how tall you want your basket to be. But it's the same process for larger baskets. So if you can make this basket, you can make a larger basket. Alright guys, so all right, so we've reached the end here. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take our needle here and we are gonna use it to pull this through, leave a little loop here for our, to get everything through. Okay, so we pulled that through. Now we could just tie this off in any old fashion. So what I'll do is I'll cut off my excess. And you can take a lighter and you can just burn these little nub ends. Like so. And you can go around your whole basket and do this. All right, guys, well, here it is. There's our pine needle basket. It's all nice and pretty. So I'm gonna go ahead and make a lid for this basket. And it's the same exact process. And I'll show you how that's done. I, I've kind of already started a little bit. So got the same thing going on here. And I'm just gonna make this to where it fits right inside there. So I still got a couple wraps to do. So we'll do those couple rack wraps and then I'll show you how I'm gonna attach my little handle here. Take the straw off. And I think that'll be our final stitch right here. So I'm gonna take And I'll stitch this and tie it off. All right. Same thing when we tie this one off as with the basket. Bring our needle through under and tie it off like so. And I might do that one more time because we'll be moving the lid around a lot. The basket doesn't get moved as much as the lid. So we'll just double knot that one. There we go. Okay, we can cut that off. Right there close to the knot. And then we can cut these little extra pieces off here. There. And any other little pieces that we might not want on there. Okay, then we'll take our lighter again, and burn that little tag in, stick it to itself. There we go. Okay guys, we're gonna make our lid for our basket. So what we got is some pine needles again, and our straw. We'll go ahead and get these all bunched up and in our straw here. Okay, the straw just work is just a nice thing uh, to have because it holds them. Okay, then we'll take our sinew, our artificial sinew here, and I'm this time I'm gonna leave uh, probably about six to eight inches of thread left over, and that on this side, so that way I have something to attach this little handle. To, uh, with on my basket. So we're just going to tie these off again just like we did at the start of our basket. Tie them off like so. Okay and we're going to leave this. We want that tag in. And we're going to wrap them again.
Now I can take this. I can take this and I'm just gonna tie it to itself like this for now. Like that. And that's just gonna hold it while I mess with it. Now I can undo this straw here. And this side with the long ends, I can cut the pine needles off. Okay. Um, and then before I cut this side off, I'm going to want to rethread my needle. And I'm just going to want to make sure that this is secure before I cut those needles off. So I'll do that by stitching a stitch and pulling this last bit of thread in to itself like that. Okay, now I can cut this end and cut these ends off here like that. And now we're ready to attach our handle to our lid. So here we have our lid. And we're just gonna turn this handle like so, okay? And we are going to start by sewing, we're gonna, so we're gonna pass our needle through here, through the top of the lid. And that attaches that. Okay, so we pass that through the top there. Now we're going to pass it back through one more time to the bottom. Okay, now we're going to wrap around the base of this handle a couple times, not too many times. And I'll go ahead and throw one more stitch in here, about a Oh, an eighth of an inch to a quarter of an inch or so up the handle. And go on back through the top. Underneath. Okay. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this thread and I'm going to stitch it underneath an existing stitch nearby. This is where the curved needle is going to come in handy. Like so. Do it one more time and then we'll tie it. Okay. Now I'll let my Pull this through, pull my needle off of my thread, and then I'll tie this off. Just like so. Then I can cut this side off now, burn it, stick it to itself like that, and now that's secure. Now we can do the same thing the other side. Okay, so now we've got that side attached. We're gonna come over and do the same thing to this other side. So, I'll thread the needle onto this side and go ahead and run the needle through our lid. And here comes the puppies. We'll go through this other side and run it back up through the bottom of the lid. Okay, now one more time. We'll, uh, Make a stitch through the handle itself. Oh. Right 
through there. Okay, now we're gonna pull this down through the bottom on the opposite side, just to give it a little more strength, like so. All right, okay. Same thing as before on the other side. We'll pass underneath an existing stitch. Okay, now this last time, I'm just gonna pass it under. And then tie it. Like that. Okay. And we'll cut the excess off. Cut that excess off there. And we'll burn this little tag in. All right, guys. Well, there it is. We got our basket with our lid. And uh, now we can put all of our dried herbs in there or uh, whatever it is that, that you got that you'd like to put in your basket, you can use it for. And I got a little nice little nifty little handle there. And uh, yep, so that's basket weaving with pine needles. If you have any questions, feel free to contact me uh, on the comments. And if you like this kind of stuff and you want to see more, consider uh, subscribing to my channel and don't forget to smash that like button. All right, well, till next time, this is Bigfoot out.